Today, I'm going to show you how we can implement an OAuth server in Laravel 5 using the bshaffer's OAuth2 server PHP library. This is the GitHub URL where you can go and download the package and this is the URL for the documentation. Now in the documentation, there is a cookbook section where you can find implementation of this library in these very popular frameworks and we already have a Laravel implementation but the implementation is in version 4 and there are certain changes which you need to do in Laravel 5 to get this thing to working and these are the steps which I will let you know as we go along. Now let's follow step by step walkthrough. Step 1 is something which I have already done. I have a Laravel installation with some basic boilerplate and other codes from the learning Laravel 5 series. Next is the OAuth2 server packages. Now I have already done a composer require of these two packages. If you see my composer JSON file, which is bshaffer oauth 2 serverphp which is currently on 1.7, and bshaffer oauth 2 server http foundation bridge, which is currently on 1.1. Then I did a composer update and got all the packages. So if you see in my vendor folder, I have these two packages. So that's about installing bshaffer's library. Step 3, which is running the migrations. Let me open up the code in a new window and get the raw file. Okay, so first I need to create a migration file. php artisan make migration create both okay this will create a new file inside database migrations or tables that's it now i'll remove this and paste this part of the code copy paste and the down part which is deleting or rather dropping the tables should come here okay so that's my migration file if you see before starting the tutorial i had only one table which is migrations which is empty zero rows now i have one two three four four migrations so if i do php artisan migrate so it ran four migrations and if I refresh it, I have all the required tables. Next step is seeding your database using the provider script. So let's open it up. So two classes have been called in database seeder. What I'll do is I will actually create those two classes. Touch. And next file is use CD, which is and I could have created those two classes here, but I personally don't like this implementation, so I'm creating my own two classes and I'll separate out the code. Okay, so First of all, I need to get the basic code for those two classes. What I will do is I will copy this, which is pretty much correct, and paste it here. The class name will be copy, paste, and clear it up. Save. I don't need these two. Okay, control S, control A, which is select all and copy, then paste it here. I just need to change the library, sorry, the class name. So rename, copy the file name, that's it. Now let's paste the code which is required. This is for OAuth client seeder, so just copy this part. And this is my OAuth client seeder. 
paste it I'm done and the second is what user seeder which is this part copy paste now in this there's a change which is required basically the username is bshaffer and the password brent123 should be sha1 if you see the comments below the oauth2 storage video checks the password using sha hash and hence it is important that we pass the password as a hashed password so we will do it sha and just this okay I'm pretty much done I think let's run seed seed user table post seeder okay you might get this error because I have created the class but I have not done a composer dump auto load okay and I also noticed okay I have done this already but you might have to add these two in your database seeder okay so just run the db seed again okay and i think now we should have all the data right these are my old tables which had seeds which is user table post table now oauth client seeder so this is the oauth client seeder test client test pass fake and on the users table be shuffle as the username and password very well so now i can close it out and let's go to the next step which is creating the singleton inside the routes.php so let's go to the raw file again this is the code which we are interested in so I'll copy this and inside my routes file which is app HTTP routes I have this already right so the app singleton OAuth2 I'm defining the username and password and that's about it Okay, so now that we have implemented the code, we will need to check whether we are able to generate the OAuth token or not. One change which I have made is in Laravel 5, there is an additional validation step which runs on all post requests which is verify CSRF token. You can find this file inside apps http kernel.php. This is very good if we are not using any other authentication mechanism because this will generate a session verification code and on all the form requests there is a validation which is triggered. But for now we will not require this so I have commented out. In the routes we have a new route post URL where we are sending the request object and in response we will get the OAuth token to fake this post I will use a package called postman this is a URL where we are going to get our OAuth token we will be using the grant type password which means we need to pass username, password, client ID and client secret and in return we will get an OAuth token just before firing the post request let's check everything is in place okay oh my database name is wrong this should be learning L5 correct 
request everything is okay our post request is ready so let's file and we have the access token so this is the access token expires in 3600 seconds token type bearer refresh token and if you check the database we have one token if we file the post again we'll be generating one more and a new insert right so this means our code is working and in laravel 5 we have implemented the bshaffle library in the next tutorial i will show you how we can use the facebook sdk to generate our own auth type rather grant type like we have used password we will be using google and facebook login which will be our own custom implementation